LaPorte, Indiana, known as the Maple City. And this week, it's the home of the U.S. Marines NIBC Series. It's the first full year of this one-of-a-kind high school basketball league headlined by some of the top teams and players in America. And they don't get better than these two. Number one, Montverde from Central Florida. Number two, Sunrise Christian from Wichita, Kansas. Players in this class. A, ter a terrific shot maker from the outside. Grady Dick understands how to create space for a shot. He sprints the wing, he comes off screens. He runs the floor in transition. What makes Grady Dick special? The ability to put it on the deck when he's tightly contested and to make shots with a hand in his face. The young man's headed to play for Bill Self at Kansas. And on the other side from Montverde Academy, Derek Whitehead, number five in the senior class and playing at a high level. Big time athlete with a smooth and versatile game. He's a standout defender, a 40% three-point shooter, rounded. He can make the assist, get on the glass, or make a big stop. He's been the heart and soul for Montverde this year. Well, he did all the rehab. He worked with the athletic trainer. Then he worked with the strength and conditioning coach when he can start to put weight on it. And he treated the rehab process like practice. Everything he did was to get his leg back in playing condition. And, and to get it done this early, Ted, you said it. it it's remarkable. It's going to be exciting to see this young man on the court. Part of that number two class for Kentucky. Sky Clark can really shoot it and facilitate. Again, Clark comes off the bench today for Montverde, which features nine ESPN ranked players, the number one team in the country, and the defending Geico national champions. They beat Sunrise Christian last April for the national title in Fort Myers, Florida. Late in the shot clock. That running hook, it looked like Magic Johnson in the 80s. But Chafino has gone from backup point guard last year behind Ryan Nemhard, now at Creighton, to the starter. And for the Buffalo starting five, Hunter, Blocker, and Dick in the backcourt. Mark Mitchell headed to Duke. So Mitchell matching up with Derek Whitehead, future college teammates, but opponents today. Dick. Here is Layden Blocker, who Luke Barnwell, their coach, says moves at just a different speed. Their bigs get into the act. The trail three by Corin. Florida State loves bigs who can shoot the ball. I know everybody does, but Florida State really utilizes their bigs. The ageless one, Leonard Hamilton. Here is Sky Clark making his season debut, coming off the torn ACL. Number 16 player in the country, five-star prospect headed to Kentucky. Dylan, Dylan Mitchell is a freakish athlete, great finisher. City of Palms. And he makes the plays for this team that not many others can do. Clark short on the three, so Sky Clark missing a couple of shots in his season debut in the early going. Blocker no sacrificing and subjugating your ego for the betterment of the team. Renault missed it, but Dylan Mitchell keeps it alive. And Mitchell puts it home at a timeout for Luke Barnwell. Dylan and Mitchell, so he's headed to play for Chris Beard at Texas. They're going to love him in Austin. Just an unbelievable finisher because of his vertical bounce. Look at the soft touch to get to his jump hook. He's got a nice mid-range jumper. He's coachable, and they understand. Don't listen to the tone, but understand the message. Dick knocks down his second three. Great. With his square up mechanics. You know, he's, he's, he's got a great economy of motion. He, he doesn't have any wasted motion. Clark, the nice feed inside, and Bobby Clintman from the outside. Four-star prospect headed to Maryland. Here is Clark in transition with the Euro step, and he draws the foul. Didn't take long for Kevin Boyle to turn to him coming off the bench. Nice That's what you do. When guys drive, you got to go to open spots. They have the gold standard in high school basketball, so when you beat them, it's a celebration. Uh, that game against IMG, oh, great finish. Watch the quick twitch fibers by Dylan Mitchell headed to Texas. Catches, gathers, and flushes with great speed. 
gentleman on the floor. It's the coaching on the sidelines. Oh, they're watching game film. They're studying tendencies. I mean, they have so much film on each other. It's like a Power Five conference. Mark Mitchell trying to follow up dunk. No. Final 50 seconds of the quarter. Montford with numbers. Sky Clark leaves it for Dylan Mitchell, who puts it in. And a timeout. Mark Mitchell with room to operate. The kick. And the three ball for Cam Corin, his third of the quarter. He's got nine points. Clark inside, and Malik. Clark finds the cutting, Dylan Mitchell, and he guides it in. Mitchell already with 13 from Gets Mon Dylan Mitchell right where he's comfortable, about 12, 15 feet with the jumper. Take the step back over the length of Dylan. In the corner, Dylan Mitchell, a three ball. He swishes it home to tie it up at 22. Clark in transition. Missed it, sticking with it, and Sky Clark draws the foul. High upside in the game. Now he's becoming productive. He's always been a prospect. Dick trying to give Sunrise the lead. Huh? Dick's been making shots like this all senior year. And that right was off the catch. He worked so hard to get open, he's got a quick release. Greedy Dick, it's target practice. Three points. Been lighting it up in this game. Understands to step behind the screen. How about as a 10th grader? Swing it around. And another three goes down for Sunrise. They're ninth of the half. Third. Sunrise finding the open man, moving the ball around the top of the key. He's one of the hardest workers we have. But Shafino turns the defender. Off the steal. Middleton shielding his. Dick. He doesn't Whitehead stand misses. still. Middleton stepping into it. Again, and get closer. That time, the baseline screening action. Middleton for the three in the right corner. Beautiful little. Montverge is 7 of 13 from the line. Blocker feeding Middleton for two more. But Shafino puts it up. It's short. And number two leads number one by 14. Post touch for Dylan Mitchell, who leads Montverge. With that stat, I think Tony Bennett should work on his offense more. Layden blocker backs up and then reattacks. And as the defense started to back up and at the free throw line as a defender. Like right there, the block shot on Dick. And it really to attend the game, but obviously we still have a lot more basketball left. But keep an eye as the weekend goes on. Montverde plays. He had garnered the nickname Baby Shaq when he was at Cole. One hit rattles in the three. Dylan yeah. Mitchell for two at the line, but a rebound by Iwu Chuku. Back down. Chuku senses a double. Just turns, that's the right thing to do, face the basket, he found. Blocker on the drive. Mark Mitchell hasn't scored yet, he changes that. Dick, the only returning player from Sunrise's Geico National runner-up team from a year ago. Sunrise fell. Post-up game or a drive game. Sky Clark, the pull-up, and... and Judah Mintz is playing his best basketball of the season for Oak Hill, Chris Livingston supporting him, and J.J. Starling was fabulous today for La Lamere. Derek Queen with the basket. Not points again, the leading scorer from Montverde. Just seemed like he never got in a rhythm offensively. Meaning that the ball wasn't going in, and so what they started to do defensively, uh, they didn't play with the same intensity that they're accustomed to. Yeah, that's what Kevin Boyle expects, right? Rake it out, dig it out and then push it. They haven't had very many points. Demings and Montford said all the right things after the game. Players and coaches, hey, these are wake-up calls. Scotty Middleton scoops it in for Sunrise. Have to imagine 
this loss by this margin, whatever it turns out to be, Dylan Mitchell. Say, did we give our best? Uh, did we play our hardest defensively? Layden blocker to the rim. Grady Dick simply outstanding today, Paul. He's playing with a high level of offensive confidence. He has all senior year. He makes tough twos, contested shots. He's got a quick release. What beautiful rotation. GMC, coached by LJ Boothby. I thought he had a summer where, you know, he was, he, he stood out a little bit. Dick. The sidestep, Whitehead still blocked the shot. What a recovery by Whitehead, and he lays it in at the other end. That's why he's a top five player in the country. And with the pressure, a couple of points, they have it to 10. This is a huge possession for Montford. A stop and a score gets it back to single digits. Blocker guarded by Sky Clark, making his season debut coming off the torn ACL from the summer. Mark Mitchell doubled in the post. It's not there. Rebound, Hood Shafino. Montford has some life. Hood Shafino missed the layup. He's come out on top all but once. Last year, Sunrise beat Montford in overtime. She's coming by Montford. And they just got to stay calm and under control. Trying to make something happen for his team, but Grady Dick, that's how you take a charge. That was clinic. Middleton, the floater. Whitehead hits the triple. Just one of six from three before that shot. Tariq Whitehead now in double figures with 12. They may just have to play the foul game in the last minute. Middleton ahead to Cam Corrin who puts it in. Corrin headed to Florida State now with 13. Put Shafino off the mark. Rebound for Dylan Hunter and a foul. 12-point lead. Sky Clark. Jalen Hood Shafino. He connects. 13 for the future Indiana Hoosier. For Kevin Boyle, they have to get back to their defensive principles and intensity. I'm sure he's going to watch the film and point out a lot. And Sunrise Christian is making its case to be the new number one team in the country. Number one falls today at LaPorte, Indiana. Number two, Sunrise Christian beats Montverde 71-61.